Hello my friends, welcome. Welcome in this second video about the organization of the fire corner in your house. In the first video I've shown you the organization on the countryside where I have much more space and where I'm also using extensively the wood from the garden and I've also shared a couple of hints for your daily use of the chimney. I'm shooting this video uh, at the end of the season of the chimney. I told you already that usually I like to fill in the chimney with uh, everything you need for starting it so that in winter, in case it's cold, uh, you can lighten the chimney very easily. But here for the summer period, I'm keeping the chimney totally empty. I'm also taking this opportunity for letting you know that for your central heating, now that it's getting warm and that you can cut your central heating, don't forget to open all the thermostats at the radiators because otherwise the little pin which is regulating the pressure risks of getting stuck. So for the organization of the chimney corner in the city, let's go! Before starting about the organization itself, a little information about this fire insert. This will usefully complement the video about starting the fire, which I shot in a fire stove. So one difference is that the closing system is a little bit hidden. It's open here on the right side. In case the fire is on since a while and it can become hot, the manufacturer provided this little tool which enables to take the warm piece and open it like this. Then we will see that the power regulation is much more discreet here than on the fire stove. There's a little minus, there is a little plus here, which means that when you are starting the fire, you have to put on the maximum. And now that the season is finished, I will put on the minus. In case the fire insert is getting hot and it's closed, you can also use the same tool so that you can push either higher or lower. And if you don't find a tool, you just open and you can do it with a finger because it's not so hot. And you can see here that this uh, iron board has been cut to the right size thanks to the jigsaw with the metal blade. So for the city, four main components, as you can see here. First of all, a little equipment for the chimney. Honestly, this is not really necessary. This one I bought because I found it on the flea market and it has a very good uh, plier here. So this is why I bought it. But for years, I just used uh, this uh, uh, chausse pied. And uh, I'm still using it, by the way, still today, uh, the little broom with the little uh, shovel. Second component is this umbrella holder that I've converted into the container for the ashes. So one little hint in case you don't have any lid, put a little bit of paper on it. This will avoid the ashes to turn around uh, and transform itself into dust into your living room. Then I have two boxes here and uh, we can now have a look at the detail of these boxes. So let's start with this first box and we start with the maintenance part. First part of maintenance are the products for cleaning the window, but you can also use just the ashes and then clean it with a little bit of iron wood. Still in the part of the maintenance because in this chimney I don't have any drawer. 
So I'm using the, the little shovel with the little broom. It's very efficient. And then we turn here to the uh, part for starting the fire. So here I'm using fire starters. This is for reasons of space, but you've seen that on the countryside, I'm using dried wood, um, which avoids, first of all, to buy these things. And secondly, is saving a little bit of energy because you don't need to produce them. Then we also have newspapers. Uh, you've seen in my video for starting the fire that the newspaper is a very good ingredient. And I know that less and less newspaper are read today. Uh, you can also use paper bags. Uh, these are bags which came from home delivery for food. Then I also keep here, uh, when it happens, a couple of uh, very light wood. This is very good for starting the fire. So this here is uh, the container box of an oyster, a bourriche we call this in French. And that's it for the first box. For the second box, it's very easy. Uh, this is basically the wood. So you see here branches from my garden. In case you don't have any garden, you can buy uh, starter wood. Uh, same one that you have seen in my video about how to start a wood coal fire. And then I have also some logs. So these are real logs. And here I also have a beam uh, coming from works which I can burn, see my little series about how to use wood coming from works for your heating. Also to be noticed here, uh, I have the cubes of a pallet, which is a remain from when I was dismantling the pallets for recuperating the wood. And the last thing is that uh, here uh, the proportion is not really good. I advise you to put two thirds of logs and one third of starter wood. Last little hint, once your container of ashes is full, be very careful in manipulating it. Here I have to do it inside. I'm myself using this material on one hand, the ashes are very good for the garden on the countryside. On the second, it's also an opportunity for taking back the nails which were in the wood coming from works. And last but not least, you can keep the coal for making barbecue with wood coal. So very careful about the manipulation of this container. I'm first removing the newspaper, which is like a lid here. Then I'm taking a plastic bag. Uh, this here is a, a waste bag from Brussels city. See the dust, this is not a joke here. And then we're closing the bag with a big delicacy for avoiding the, the, the ashes to be projected elsewhere. That's it my friends, we are now towards the end of the video. Let me also remind you that you need to make a yearly ramonage for your chimney. This is a question of safety, but also a question of insurance, because in case of problem, you will have to show the bill of the ramonage. And now, as we won't be using the chimney anymore for a couple of months, I can now put, thanks to the little ways which I put below my sofa, I will be able to put my sofa in front of the chimney it's changing a little bit the display of the living room. Change is always good. And uh, I can then go back to the chimney when it's getting colder in a couple of months. 
I hope that you like this video. I hope it will help you to organize your fire corner. And I'm looking forward to see you very soon on Happy Hour TV One. I also have a couple of videos for works related to dogs. <laughs>